Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an update at what's on my iPhone 6 Plus. And I have the iPhone 6 Plus and the silver. Um, I was deciding in between the silver and the space gray, but um, I ended up getting the silver. And it was like, it was like not, it was like last minute. But not last minute. Like I knew I was getting the iPhone 6 Plus, but then I never like um, cho chose like the color right away because I was like, I don't know, I want space gray. I don't know, I want silver. So I ended up getting silver, and my sister got um, gold. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, not much has changed from my phone. Well, yeah, you know what? A lot has not a lot, but some stuff has changed like i got more apps on like my phone different apps and all that like i have more apps than before and um my editing apps have changed to like my for my instagram my photos my photos my instagram pictures um me the way how i edit them has changed too so i'll show you that on how i edit them and um yeah the way i edit them is more it looks it looks more cleaner and it looks nicer and it, I think it just looks way cleaner and it looks good and I really like it so I'm really happy with it right now so follow me on Instagram if you want to see more pictures of mine that I will be posting and so yeah let's just get in the video okay so first I'm gonna start off with the phone case and all that um, I got this phone case at Ross it was for five dollars it's just clear and yeah it's just clear and I, I, I like it so yeah um and then it's just like that it's in silver and yeah so i'm just gonna open it oh the background i don't know i just i searched um marble marble wallpaper like background and this is what came up this is my wallpaper for both my like both okay so i opened my phone and yeah so this is what it looks like so yeah this is just what it looks like so the first thing I have is weather safari app store mail Twitter Dropbox music iMovie settings followers plus camera photo shoebox inside of my photography photo inside of my photography fo folder I have Viscocam and Facetune and those are the only two apps I use to edit my Instagram pictures and I will be showing you that so yeah and then I have photos notes MTV the MTV app because sometimes I like watch it on my phone instead of like on TV even though it records but I still like watch it on here or uh, whatever shows I missed then I have snapchat calendar cartwheel because there's some things on Cartwheel that like it gives you a discount on things, so yeah. Then I have Pinterest, YouTube, Netflix, and Instagram. I have all those three apps like um, YouTube, Netflix, and Instagram on the bottom because those are like it's like the easiest to get to. Like I just click on it like that, so yeah, it's like so fast. And then on the bottom I have phone, FaceTime, messages, and Puffin. So then I, then I have. Hub. Inside of the random folder, I have iBooks, Find Friends, Calculator, Tips, Contacts, Wallet, Maps, Reminders, Game Center, Find iPhone, Voice Memos, News, Stocks, Watch, Compass, Podcasts, iTunes Store, Videos, and Clock. So I have all those apps just together because I like it like to like, I have it like in my like, kind of a color scheme thing. It's like blue silvers um then i have white and then yellow and then with the red and then green in the bottom so yeah and then i have just the same background as you can see right there so yeah and yeah so that's pretty much it so that's pretty much it what's on my iphone i don't have that much like i know i have like a few different apps like more apps but um it's pretty much the same thing but um yeah so nothing much has changed honestly <laughs> okay but something that does have changed is um oh but if you want to follow me on instagram you can so yeah follow me on instagram you guys Yay. So, yeah. 
already there. Add me on Snapchat, okay? So yeah, okay, um so let's see. Okay, so now how I edit my Instagram pictures. Okay. So first I'm gonna go to my photography photography folder and I'm gonna click Visco Cam or VSCO cam, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, then I'm just gonna add a picture. So I have edited this, pi edited this picture already, but I'm gonna do it again. So I'm just gonna click a picture and I'm just gonna click that one. I'm gonna import it. So once I like have the picture, I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna edit it, start editing it. So first I go to like HB2. So first I go to like HB2. And then I click on it and then I like drag it down to like five. So like that, I drag it down to like five because I don't really like it to be so high, like really like all well, like the color. So yeah, I like drag it down to five. And then I go to exposure and I either drag it down or drag it up. And for this one, I like dragged it up because I wanted it a little bit brighter because the black, those jackets were like black, so it wasn't like showing up as much. So I wanted to pull up the exposure a bit. And then I'm gonna go to like the sharpen, and I sharpen that to, f to four, because um, I think it makes it look clear, I guess. I don't know, but I do that all the time. So I sharpen it, and then sometimes it depends on the picture, like if it's like not the colors like showing up as much. Cause I didn't want the filter to be so high, so I like use the saturation. So I go to saturate a little, yeah, saturation, and I pull it up a bit just at one because I want it to be more pop. And then I go to it depends if the saturation is too like vibrant. I use temperature to cool it down a bit. So and I put like I um I um. Yeah, and I lower it minus one. So, but for this one, I don't know. Yeah, so I use it for minus one. And then um, I just like press the check mark and there it goes like that. So then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna save that picture. So I'm gonna save it to camera roll. And then I'm gonna go to Facetune. So, yeah, just going to face two. And I'm going to take the picture and I'm just going to widen it. So I'm going to widen it like all around. So yeah, just going to show you guys. Yeah, I just like widen it here like that. Just like everywhere that it needs to be widened. Like, of course, not the clothes. Well, it depends on if you want it to be white. Well, you know what? It, it depends on how you want your face, so... It's just all up to you, you know? So, yeah. Um, you know what? I was like, literally, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my feet. So, like, you can see my feet before. It was literally messy. Like, it looked nice because I tried to leave it, like, not all messy, but, like, still put together. But, um, it just wasn't working out for me. So, I just, I don't know, where I took a picture of something, the randomest thing ever, like, literally of a floor and my outfit. And there you go like that's how my feet changed so yeah i'm just gonna widen it wherever i want it to be widened and you can like widen it as much as you want it just depends on how you want it to be so yeah i'm just widening it so now that that's all widened i'm gonna click details and i'm just gonna like click on whatever i wanted to show up a little bit more the details so I'm just gonna run my finger like that, like around wherever, like the chair, this, like that. So yeah, I just click that. Then, then I'm gonna click the check mark, and then I'm gonna save it to camera roll. And after that, I'm gonna go to Visco Cam, and then add the picture back on here. And yeah, so there is, there's both of them. The one on the bottom is the one I edited before this video, and then. This is the one I did right now for the video. So, yeah, this is just the picture and how it looks. Oh, wait. I also, when I went back to, it depends on how the brightness looks. 
I lowered the exposure just a bit so it could like match more. So yeah. This is the picture you guys. So yeah, that's how I edit my pictures. Um some pictures not all pictures are the same. It just depends on the picture you have and how the lighting looks and all that. So it just depends, but um yeah, so that's how I edit my pictures and that's what's on my iPhone. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, see you guys in my next video.